Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on simplification. This is the sister rule of conjunction introduction, and fitting with its name, it is also very simple. So with simplification, we have just a single premise, P and Q. Again, P and Q could either be simple sentences or compound expressions or a combination of the two, doesn't matter. And if you know that both of them are true, then you can reach the conclusion that one of them is true. So therefore P. And this, as I said, should be obvious and simple because if you think about the first premise and the only premise as being, I am happy and I am a man, well, if both of those things are true, then I am happy alone is true as well. So this rule of simplification is useful for when we're going to be conducting proofs in, well, I guess about half dozen lectures from now or so, because we'll be able to take larger expressions and simplify them down to smaller expressions, which we can then use to perform other operations like modus ponens or modus tollens on. And just for the quick proof that this is actually correct, here's your proof by truth table. We have two simple sentences, P and Q. We have the compound expression P and Q. If P and Q is true, that's only in one case, that's the top row. If we look over where P was, we see that P is also true in that case. And in addition to that, Q is also true as well. Well, but we're only caring about one of them at a time when we're trying to simplify things, so that's why we are talking about just P as being true if P and Q are true. All right, that's simplification for you. Join me next time when we learn some more rules of inference. Take care.